Hi friends, today we are discussing about the topic Introduction to Topological Group. Topology is a special kind of geometry, a geometry that doesn't include a notion of distance. Topology has many roots in graph theory. When Leonhard Euler was working on the famous Keynesburg bridge problem, he was developing a type of geometry that didn't rely on distance, but rather how different points are connected. This idea is at the heart of topology. A topological group is a set that has both a topological structure and an algebraic structure. We will start with the definition of topological group. So, what is topological group? Topological group contains two structures, topological structure and group structure. So, we must know about topology and group. What is topology? Let X be a set. A topology on X is a collection of subsets of X and satisfies the following three requirements. Phi belongs to Tau and X belongs to Tau. That means the non-empty set and whole set belongs to Tau. Given an open set script U belongs to Tau, we have union of open set belongs to Tau. That means Tau is closed under arbitrary union. Third one, given U1 and U2 belongs to Tau, we have U1 intersection U2 belongs to Tau. That means Tau is closed under arbitrary intersection. Then we can say that Tau is a topology. Also, members of topology are called open sets. Next group. What is group? Let G be a non-empty set and let star is a function from G cross G to G be a binary operation defined by star of G1 G2 equal to G1 star G2. The pair G star is a group if the following three properties hold. First one, for all a, B, C belongs to G. We have A star B star C equal to A star B star C. That is associativity hold. Second, there exists an E belongs to G. An identity element E belongs to G. Such that for all A belongs to G. We have A star A equal to E star A equal to A. That means identity element must exist. Third, for all A belongs to G, there exists A inverse belongs to G such that A star A inverse equal to A inverse star A equal to E. That means inverse element must exist. Then we can say that G star is a group. So, we can move on topological group. For example, our most known mathematical structure R. R has a topological structure as well as a group structure. That is, R is a group under addition and R with the usual topology is a topological space. If a mathematical object has two mathematical structure, there must be some connection with these two mathematical structures. In the case of R plus and the topology of R, this connection described by the continuity of addition and continuity of making negation. That means the addition function from R cross R to R is a continuous function and the inverse function from R to R is also a continuous function. In general, by a topological group, we shall mean a group with a topological structure where the group operation will be continuous 
with respect to this topological structure and the inverse operation will also be continuous with respect to that structure. So let us formally define what is topological group. Definition A topological group is a group G equipped with a topology with respect to which the group operations are continuous. That is mapping xy to x dot y from g cross g to g is continuous and x to x inverse is continuous from g to g. Also we can prove topological group in another method that is we know that the members of topology are called open sets. So we can prove this in terms of open sets. That means the product map is continuous if and only if consider two elements x and y for any x y belongs to g and consider the neighborhood w of x dot y in g then there exists a neighborhood u of x and v of y in g such that u dot v subset or equal to w where u v equal to set of uv such that u belongs to capital U and v belongs to capital V. This is similar to showing that the product map is continuous. So next the inverse map is continuous if and only if for any x belongs to g and any neighborhood v of x inverse in g there exists a neighborhood u of x in g such that u inverse is contained in v where u inverse equal to set of u inverse for all u belongs to capital U. Also this is similar to showing that the inverse map is continuous. So we can prove topological group by using any one of this method. Note topological group are used to study continuous symmetries and are used very frequently in modern theoretical physics. Every group can be trivially made into topological group by considering it with the discrete topology. A topology coincides with the power set. Such topology is called discrete topology. Such groups are called discrete groups. In this sense, the theory of topological groups subsumes that of ordinary groups. Next, the indiscrete topology that is the trivial topology or the topology coincides only of phi and x also makes every group into a topological group. Example, one of the most important topological group is Z plus, where Z is equipped with the discrete topology. So, Z plus is a discrete topology. Another example of topological group is, I have already mentioned is R plus. That is the real number R with the usual topology from a topological group under addition. Both of the topological group in fact are local compact topological groups. By a local compact topological group, we mean a topological group which is local compact in its topology. So, what is the advantage of topological group? In fact, for topological group, it is sufficient to know the behavior of topology near the identity or we can say at the point identity. That means we don't require to know the local behavior at every point of the topological group, which is not true in case of general topological spaces. This holds becomes 
topological group are homogeneous. Homogeneity comes from the left and right operation and the inverse operation. Let us state it formally. Let G be a topological group. Then the topological group of G is invariant under translation and inversion. That is, if U is an open, then so are X U, U X and U inverse for any X belongs to G. To prove this, let us consider the left multiplication lambda x of y equal to xy for all y belongs to g. It can be easily observed that for each x, xy is homogeneous. That means for each x, the left lambda x that is the left translation is a homomorphism. Homeomorphism because the multiplication is continuous and the inverse function is continuous. Now, since the lambda x is homeomorphism and if u is open set, then clearly x u is also open. Similarly, we can show that right multiplication is also homeomorphism. Therefore, US is also open set where U is an open set. That means if G is a topological group, then the left and right translation are homeomorphism. That is the left and right translation are also equal. Also the mapping X to X inverse is a homeomorphism. Therefore, if U is open, then U inverse is also open. That means the inverse map is a homeomorphism. Thus, if u belongs to G, we have u is open if and only if the left to translation x u is open, which is if and only if equal to the right translation u s is open, if and only if the inverse u inverse is also open. Next a theorem. Let G be a topological group and A and B be subsets of G. A. If A is open and B is arbitrary, then A, B and B A are open. B. If A and B are compact, then A, B is compact. In usually, a compact in a real line is crossed and bounded set. But in topology, not only closed and bounded set, every open cover has a finite subcover is the definition of compact in topology. To prove A, let us take A is open and B is arbitrary. Then AB equal to union of set of AB for all B belongs to B. That is, Take A is constant and B is disjointed. A, B1, A, B2, etc. For all B1, B2, etc. belongs to B. Then, union of A, B equal to A dot B. Since A is open, then A, B is open. For all B belongs to B. Since left to translation is homeomorphism. By the above proposition, we proved that G is a topological group, then the left and right translation of homeomorphism are open. So, since A is open and G belongs to G, sorry, B belongs to G, then clearly AB is open. Tau is a arbitrary union of open sets is open. Then, the union of AB, B belongs to B, is also open. Our assumption, the union of AB equal to A dot B, which implies AB is open. Similarly, BA equal to union of BA, for all V belongs to B, is open. Since 
a is open then b a is open by using the left translation is homeomorphism clearly which implies p a is open next we can prove b suppose a and b are compact then we want to prove that a b is compact let us take a cross b a and b are compact in g therefore a cross b is a compact subset of g cross g consider our first statement of topology continuous mapping x comma y to x dot y x comma y to x dot y is consider some elements that is x y belongs to g similarly we can say using subsets consider a cross b to a b here x y is a cross b and x y is a b so then we can say that a cross b to a b is continuous and also a b is the image of a cross b under continuous mapping x comma y to x dot y that means here a cross b is compact and the mapping is continuous we know the theorem that continuous image of compact set is compact then clearly we can say that a b is compact so our theorem is proved next we can talk about the definition of topological subgroup g p a topological group and h an algebraic subgroup of g let g b endowed with relative topology induced from g then since the mapping x y to x y inverse of g cross g into g is continuous so its restriction from h cross h into h h endowed with relative topology the relative topology is topological group h is called a topological subgroup or simply a subgroup of g the following result are also of important in case of topological group proposition a if h is normal subgroup of g then so is closure of h second one every open subgroup of g is closed to prove a let h be a normal subgroup of g then for every g belongs to g the set g closure of h g inverse is closed and contains g h g inverse equal to h as h is normal here g h closure g inverse is closed because both left and right multiplication are homeomorphisms therefore we have that h closure contain g h closure g inverse conjugating by g one gets g h closure g inverse contain h closure as g varies all over the group g the claim a is false now to prove b let h be open so are all its cosets xh since left multiplication are homeomorphism therefore its complement g minus h is the union of all these cosets except h itself hence g minus h is open and therefore h is closed this proved that every open subgroup of g is also closed
another important property of topological subgroup is that proposition let u be a symmetric neighborhood of e in a topological group in g then h equal to union of u power n n is any integer is an open and closed subgroup of g to prove this let us consider x comma y belongs to g then x dot y belongs to g then there exists a positive integer n comma m such that x belongs to u power n and y belongs to u power m therefore x y belongs to u power n dot u power m by property of exponential function we know that u power n into u power m equal to u power n plus m that is also contained in h we know that h is the union of all u power some integer therefore u raised to n plus m contained in h we know that x belongs to u raised to n then x inverse also belongs to u raised to n raised to minus 1 which is also equal to u raised to minus 1 into n u is symmetric therefore u inverse equal to u by this we can say that u raised to minus 1 into n equal to u raised to n u raised to minus 1 belongs to u raised to n which is also containing h and y belongs to u raised to m also contained in h for our assumption x dot y belongs to h therefore x inverse dot y is also belongs to h which implies that h is a subgroup of g next to show that h is a subgroup of g sorry next to show that h is open for each y belongs to g y u belongs to y h which is equal to h therefore y u contained in h for each y belongs to h we get y u belongs to h hence it is clear that h is open hence we can say that h is open and it's a subgroup then by our above proposition we can say that every open subgroup h of a topological group is closed hence our theorem is proved so far we have discussed some properties of topological groups all these properties we have discussed have been organized using left and right multiplication. In fact, using the homeomorphic property of left and right multiplication and inversion. With this, we end this seminar. Thank you.